Hey friends, Andy here, how you doing? Good to see you. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about pre-search nodes, how to buy them, how to set up a node from start to finish. If you watch my passive crypto income video, you'll know that I have been looking at pre-search. Well, I actually am running nodes now and earning pre-tokens. So I wanted to share with you the process from start to finish, actually buying the coins, sending them over, setting up the node, all the stuff in between so that nothing is left to mystery. And if you don't know, PreSearch is a decentralized search engine. It says so right there, so you know what it is. Basically think of DuckDuckGo, except decentralized and run by end users. Whereas something like a traditional search engine has centralized servers, PreSearch spreads its servers into nodes that you and I can run. And in the process of running those nodes to support the search engine and the network, we get to earn their tokens. So let me show you what their actual search engine looks like. I think it's a pretty slick interface. You can type in a search here, use the pre-search engine, and you can even search a whole bunch of other websites from their portal. So beyond it being a really cool project, why do I like pre-search? Why do I think uh, you should consider setting up a node and investing? Well, I think crypto passive income is amazing. It's amazing opportunity. And I think pre-search is one of the easiest ways to dip your toes into running a node, earning some crypto completely passively, and to learn a couple of core uh, skill sets for running other nodes and other projects. Also, it doesn't hurt that pre is actually an affordable node right now compared to many other projects that are many thousands of dollars. But before we jump into it, please click that like button. Give me the thumbs up if you appreciate me showing you a step-by-step -step install of pre-search nodes. Okay, let's start with the tutorial. So step one, is actually going to happen on your phone. There's multiple ways you can buy um, a currency to send over to the exchange to buy pre, but I think one of the easiest ways you can do this is by using the Strike app. Uh, Strike is a Bitcoin app, so it's very easy to buy and sell and send Bitcoin with Strike. And if you sign up for Strike using my link, you will get $5 and so will I. It's a win-win. Essentially, you're going to download the Strike app from your app store. You're going to sign up for an account. You're going to wait to be verified. Once you're verified, you're going to add your bank account. It's very easy. You click a couple buttons. It walks you through the entire process. Then from the Strike homepage, you click the little person icon and you see your name, which in my case is your friend Andy. Hello, me. Uh, then you go to deposit and you can deposit a maximum of $1,000 per week. So I'm going to go ahead and do the 1,000. Hit confirm and deposit was confirmed just like that. Click the check mark and then I go over here to Bitcoin. I hit buy Bitcoin. I'm going to max that out with $1,000 worth of Bitcoin and I hit confirm and there we go. So I now have the BTC in my account. Now you can buy a smaller amount because right now one pre-search node requires 2,000 pre and then the withdrawal fee on KuCoin is 150. So 2150 pre is required, which as of today is $559. Of course, the day I would decide to make this tutorial, it would jump up 13% because that's just how things work in crypto. So as I was saying, you can buy a smaller amount than 1,000. You can buy 560 or 600 uh, if you want. So once we have bought the Bitcoin on strike, the very next thing we're going to do is we're going to hop on to KuCoin. KuCoin.com is a crypto exchange. Um, it's an exchange I like because it has a lot of the currencies I like to buy. Um, and it's a very easy sign up process. In fact, there is actually no identity verification, no KYC if you have a just beginner or starter account, which allows you to withdraw up to one BTC per day, I believe, which covers a lot of people. Once you sign up for KuCoin, you're going to click on assets. We're going to go to deposit. We're gonna click on, you can type in the um, the coin here, click on Bitcoin, main account. We're going to hover over the uh, the QR code. Okay, here we are in the Strike app. So you're gonna click the little arrow up at the top right-hand corner. And we're gonna get it on that QR code. I'm going to click maximum, which is all the Bitcoin I just purchased. I'm going to send the maximum to that address. I'm going to confirm the last few digits to make sure it's the correct address. I'm gonna hit confirm. Okay, once you send from Strike to KuCoin, it can take anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. So just pay attention to it. Um, KuCoin will send you an email in your inbox when the deposit has been dropped. 
Okay, and through the magic of video editing, we skipped ahead roughly 45 minutes for this transaction to finally show up as completed. There it is in KuCoin. So now if we go to assets, and we go to our main account, we will see a Bitcoin listed right here. We're going to go to transfer. We're going to transfer it from our main account to our trading account. We're going to transfer all of it. This doesn't cost anything. It's free. It's just KuCoin separates all your assets into your main account where you can't trade them and then a trading account where you can trade them. So you have to transfer it back and forth, which is a little bit annoying, but it's super easy to do. All you have to do, like I said, is just click on the available amount. Make sure it says main account to trading and the coin you want. Hit confirm. And just like that. So we confirm. We send it. Now we're going to go to the markets. Top left markets. We're going to click on BTC. We're going to type in the search, P-R-E for pre-search, the ticker for pre-search. We're going to click on pre slash BTC. KuCoin is going to load up here and show me the chart. And then you're going to put your trading password in that you set uh, in your account. If you haven't set one, it will prompt you to set one. Okay. And then you're going to have some options, limit, market, stop limit. The easiest thing for most people is just to click on market buy. And let's go ahead and check our coin price again. So again, we are going to buy 2,150 pre-search tokens, which as of right now, this moment is $559 USD. So we go back to KuCoin and we're going to be buying pre and it's going to ask us how much in BTC. So one more time back to CoinGecko. This is uh, one more transition here. We're going to type I'm gonna do five, seven, five, not six, five, seven, five USD. We're gonna copy eight or so digits of that. Go back to KuCoin, type that amount into uh, the, B, uh, the BTC field, and we're gonna hit buy pre. That's gonna give us a little chime. You can see now that we have 2152 pre-search tokens. Okay, we go back to assets. We click on our trading account. We see pre-search here. We hit transfer. We transfer from our trading account to our main account. We're gonna transfer all of it. Confirm. Okay, now, uh, before we withdraw, we need to do the next step, which is create a pre-search account. Again, their website is presearch.org, but instead we're gonna to go to nodes.presearch.org. You're gonna see this page. You're gonna go up here to join. You're going to fill out the information and create a pre-search account. Once you have done that, you will see the nodes dashboard page. And if you don't, you click this menu button over here on the right-hand side and go to manage nodes. And that will bring you here. It will say zero token stake, zero available to stake for you because you have nothing in here. Um, and you have two options. You can buy and you can transfer. Since we bought on KuCoin, we're going to hit transfer and you're going to have three options. We're going to select the first one from blockchain. Okay. And we are going to copy our address. We're going to go back to KuCoin. We're going to go to withdraw. We're going to hit select. We're going to type in pre, pre-search. We're going to put in our wallet address that we just copied. We're going to look at the last couple of digits. We're going to go back to our pre-search dashboard here and verify. Looks good. Network, ERC20, that's our only option. How much we're going to pull out? We're going to pull out the maximum. Click maximum. Fee 150. No remark required. We're going to hit confirm. Confirm withdrawal. And then it's going to ask you for your trading password. It's going to, you're going to send yourself a code via email and you're going to put in your 2FA if you have that enabled. Whatever it's going to ask you uh, for here is a confirmation. So do everything it requ requests. Submit. So after it says successful, it will take just a little bit to send. When it is processing, it will show up here just like that. And then it will also eventually show completed. When it shows completed, you will see it in your pre-node dashboard. And then after a bit, it's going to say completed on KuCoin. 
Then you go back to where you transferred it to your pre-search account. And it's probably gonna take anywhere from five to 15 minutes before it shows up here. But if you refresh, it will eventually show up. And then once it shows up here, we can go back to our pre-search nodes dashboard. We'll hit refresh. And there you go. An additional 2000 pre showed up in my available to stake. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna download a piece of software called Putty. You can go to putty.org. It's a very simple web page. You click download Putty here, click that, install on your computer. And if you're on Mac, there are other tools available for um, SSH you can download. However, we're not actually gonna be logging into the server uh, with this. We're just using it to generate an SSH key which is actually an optional step, but I think it's a bit more secure, so we're gonna do that. So once you download and install Putty, we are going to launch Putty Gin, which is the Putty Key Generator. And we're going to hit Generate. And it's going to say, please generate some randomness by moving the mouse over the blank area. So we're just gonna move the mouse around. Let's actually do that again. Move it around like crazy. All right. And here we go. We have now generated a key. Uh, we need to give it a password. So you should give it a strong password that you save somewhere. I'm going to do mine as just password. And then we are going to save the private key. I'll put it in a folder on my desktop for pre-node. Pre, SSH, private. And I'm going to save the public key. Pre SSH public save. Okay, we're gonna leave this open though for a bit longer. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to upcloud.com. And if you use the link in the description, uh, when you sign up, you will get a $25 free credit when you use my link. But sign up for an account. And once you've uh, signed up and confirmed your account, you will have your uh, UpCloud uh, dashboard here. And one of the first things you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your account details here and go to billing, and you're going to add some money because the free tier of UpCloud uh, is limited and it will give you errors. So you need to put money on your account first. But again, once you put like five or $10, you also get that $25 credit immediately. So once you have done that, we're going to click on deploy server. And then we're going to select the US SJ01. We're going to go to simple plans and click the cheapest one, the $5 per month plan. We're not going to mess with storage or automated backups. On operating system, we're, we're picking uh, Ubuntu uh, server uh, version 20. Uh, leave the optionals as default. And then uh, here we go with login method. We're gonna select SSH key and you're gonna hit add new. We're gonna call this pre-search test because I'm not actually gonna use this one. I'm gonna go back here to putty. We're going to copy this entire um, key. We'll paste it here in the key field and hit save. All right, and there we have it. And you will just select that. Now I'm not using that one. I'm gonna use my default one, but yours will be the default one. So you select your key now that you've entered it. And now um, also in the description, you will find uh, a link to get my initialization script. Uh, basically, you would normally do all this stuff manually, but we can just put it all in here as a script and the server will build itself and do all the right things. Um, and then you don't have to actually do anything. It's very, very easy. So I'm gonna link to this script down in the description, but essentially it will look like this. It's gonna be a bunch of commands. And here at the very bottom, you see in all caps, registration code equals your code here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our pre-search nodes dashboard and you're gonna see your node registration code. And you can actually click to see it um, or you can just hit copy. So you copy this. You go back here to your script, you paste it over this your code here. So it goes straight from registration underscore code equals, and then that is your code. 
And then there's a space between that and the next part that says pre-search slash node. So you're just replacing the text that says your code here. So I'm gonna do that, but we're gonna blur mine. Then you're gonna copy this entire block of text. Go back to UpCloud. You're going to paste it in as your script. And you can even add this as a saved script, which I have also done pre pre-search install. And that way, if you wanna do multiple nodes, it makes it super, super easy. And then the last step here, change the name. Pre-search 11 is my node. And then we're gonna hit deploy. And then if we see here, pre-search 11, it is being deployed, UpCloud says. Now this is gonna take anywhere from five to 10 minutes. But essentially what's gonna happen next on your node dashboard, you're going to wait. And at some point, you're going to see a new node pop up at the very top of your list, or in your case, if you're only set it, this is your very first one you're setting up, it's gonna be the only node that pops up. But you will refresh and you will eventually see it. So once it's deployed on UpCloud, it's going to run all that stuff uh, in our script. It's going to update Ubuntu, um, it's going to install Docker, which is required for pre-search, and then it's going to install pre-search. And because that command for installing pre-search has your code in it, uh, it should show up here on your dashboard. All right, so we refresh. At the very top, there is a new node, or in your case, it might be the only node that shows up, and it says no description. It'll say stake zero, total searches zero, reliability score uh, NA because uh, it's brand new. So we're gonna hit the little um, edit button here, the pencil. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is you should see on your balance that you have an available amount of pre. So we're gonna change that here from zero to 2000 because we have at least 2000 available and you need a minimum stake of 2000. As far as I know, there's no advantage to putting more on here. So save the other pre if you have any extra for other nodes. Then your description, give it a description. Mine are very boring just pre-search followed by the number. And then I'm also gonna tell it to send me an email on disconnect and reconnect so I can know if my node is down or back up. And then it's as easy as hitting update. Node updated in green, the node is now live. Go back to the node list and we will scroll down and we will see it right here. Green online, it has 2000 staked. And that's it, we're running a pre-search node, easy as that. Uh, then over the course of the next 24 to 48 hours, you should start to see the total searches go up. You will see the reliability score start to creep up and eventually you will start to see your pre being earned on that node. And as you can see with the rest of my nodes, they're all earning pre uh, here. Some of the uh, newer ones aren't earning, uh, haven't been earning as much because I just deployed uh, this one a few days ago. Uh, but that's, that's really as easy as it is. So bookmark this page, check back the dashboard as uh, your pre is being earned. And then you will start to see it accumulate right here where it says unclaimed pre-earned. And every so often uh, you can claim it, it will go into your available to stake. And as you put more there, as you do searches on pre-search and you earn through searching, uh, you can either earn your way to another node eventually or buy some more and put it in there and run multiple nodes if you want or stick with one. Anyways, I hope that was super helpful for learning how to buy and start up a pre-search node. I really think this is a great beginner crypto node project if you have any interest in this space whatsoever. It's also not terribly expensive to get in on this right now. And I think this has a bright future. So hopefully these rather modest rewards will eventually be worth a lot more one day. And on the topic of nodes and passive crypto income, watch this video to see my entire passive crypto strategy. And if you're curious how I find these projects in the first place, then watch this video over here where I go into detail about that. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.